Hey Vsauce, Sheeper here. Have you ever felt entitled to make a video? Because right now, I feel like I do. Fair warning for this video, I'm going to be using a lot of vague, like, ugh, vague language. I'm going to try not to, but it's going to end up happening because it's kind of gross and just kind of sad. Um, some of the topics that I'm going to try to discuss, so just hang in there. So <coughs> Sometimes people have pasts that um, they want to, like, I guess, give up. Um, and for me, I definitely am not super happy with the things that I've done in the past. Um, I'm kind of ashamed of some of it, and it's more so because it's carried on until today, and because it was a part of me of who I was, and not so much who I am right now. Uh, it's a bit annoying. And I was younger back then. I wasn't thinking the same way. I didn't have the same mindset. I, w I didn't have the same forward thoughts that I do right now. And I'm sure that in the future, I'm going to change again. But for right now, I'm not necessarily happy with the decisions that I made. Well... I mean, they made me who I am today, and I really shouldn't have them hold me back, but I think I uh, take it too hard on myself. What I'm talking about is that I was involved with uh, the ARG community. I might have mentioned it on this channel before, but I don't think I have. So an ARG is an alternate reality game. Uh, it takes you into a different world using social media or the internet and makes it present a story or a bunch of puzzles and a mystery uh, that seems realistic when it's not. That's essentially what an ARG is. They're used for advertising and they can get pretty scary. And there's a lot of ethics that are involved with them that maybe I will discuss in a future video but I really don't think so based upon how often I'm uploading and when I have the time to actually make a video tonight being one of those nights. <coughs> so in the ARG community, I was surrounded by people who did very not so, I would say, okay things. People that were just very weird and very gross. And initially, I was part of those gross, weird people, and I don't want that to be a part of what I do. Right now, at least. It just, it doesn't feel right to me. Like, I stumbled across uh, another horror video and it, it spooked me. And being spooked is fine. But in the context of the situation, it reminded me that I used to be very invested in horror and how easily everything just, could just go to crap. And realizing that, there's so much more to it and how being invested in that really holds you back because you're not thinking of a solution. You're just observing things. And that's not the way I want to live. I don't want to live vicariously. I don't want to have other people's experiences dictate what I do. And I think that applies for a lot of people. But some people don't exactly consider that when delving into certain content. There's some lives that you can't live and so you're interested in that. But when you can, not that saying I wanna get, in, I wanna 
get into murder when I get older or something like that. I'm just saying that, like, in terms of if there was, like, a celebrity that you followed. But, like, horror is just something that you shouldn't be a part of. I mean, the people who make the content, the people who make ARGs, they enjoy it. It's good for them, but... And I've transitioned out of that, or at least that's what I want to think. And as well as other gross things, such as uh, not safe for work content and just stuff and people who have done very bad things uh, and there are lots of people who do great things within the ARG community I'm sure uh, I've just I've separated myself from that and so <coughs> it doesn't really make sense for me to be still tied to that the reason I bring this up is because I watched a video about horror, and it just made me realize that still part of that gross stuff still finds a way into my life, and that it's holding me back from what I want to do, from me being happy. That's basically it. Hopefully that does make sense. Um, yeah. So other than that one thought, what else am I doing? Right now I have a creative project, creative art project that I have to do for English. So I have to do that, write analysis, hand that in by tomorrow, continue to be sick. Infect the entire school tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. Spring break is ended, so I'll be on that track grind, on that homework grind, art grind, graphic novel grind, and the grain grind. Yeah. Uh, another thing I guess I should add is that I cleared my flash drive of music that I listen to at track meets at, um, in the car or just by myself, really. It's a, I forget it's a fresh start to music because so many of the songs, while good, um, just wasn't what I was listening what I really enjoy. Some of the albums are though, so I save those. Some of them are truly rare and truly just spectacular, 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 spectacular things, songs. I meant <laughs> you could tell I'm sick. I am. Uh, so yeah. It's kind of my life. I just picked my nose there on camera. Yeah, a lot of music that I'm listening to. I think I'll put my friend code at the bottom here if you want to share music with me in the description. But um, yeah, hope you would uh, enjoy this. Thomas, um, it's Thomas, right? I don't know why I keep, Tommy, That's I knew it was Tommy. And no, 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 no. Thomas, Thomas Land, yeah, Thomas Land, uh, who also watched one of my other videos. Um, yeah, you don't forget this. Uh, en enjoy.